Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and thank you for letting me share some more useful, life-changing, life-saving information with you and your family and friends. I just came out of an exam room with a patient, uh, a 30-plus-year-old female with lupus, with anemia, with kidney disorder, where they've put chemo into the kidney to try to rejuvenate the kidney. I don't know how that's logical. It, that's logic is beyond uh, my comprehension because poisons into the kidney cannot help rejuvenate kidney function. Uh, in any event, uh, this woman had terrible chronic fatigue and a whole host of uh, various symptoms. Uh, she has been going to hospitals. And I wanted to share with you on her first day, and this exam showed that she has, her primary degenerative organ is her lymphatic system. Now your lymph system is part of your immune system. It's part of removing infections and toxins from your tissues, and also when that lymph is very, um, is very congested, your body can feel chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue can come from a few different factors, but in this video I wanna share with you what I found with her because that was part of her fatigue, and actually she reported when she came in for her second visit, she reported 80% improvement from chronic fatigue. In her lymph, we found electromagnetic field stress from televisions, from cell phone. I also found with her that, her, that she had one, two, three, four different vaccine residues. One of them is called DIP. The other one is diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine. Another one is called MMR or measles, mumps, or rubella vaccine. She had a couple of other diphtheria, pertussis, uh, tetanus, DPT vaccine residues in her, different combinations. Um, she also, in her lymphatic system, she had multiple, multiple parasitic infections that have not been cleared out by that lymph system. She also had Lyme infection called Borrelia burgdorferi that was found in that lymph tissue. Bartonella uh, is another, is a co-infection that commonly is found with Lyme, with Borrelia infection. And she also had dental amalgam a mercury filling residue. She has one mercury filling in the mouth and that ended up in her lymph and the lymph is not able to rid all of these toxic and infectious agents. On her first day, it was to provide her remedies to remove these infections and toxic agents from her tissues. In the next exam, which I'll show you in another video, we already had 80% improvement in, in, her, um, in her fatigue relief. She also told me that the swelling left her ankles and calves after this one visit. She also went on to tell me that she was able to sleep better at night and she was already following our candida-free diet and she lost six to seven pounds and that was, that was about two weeks, excuse me, two weeks prior to the most recent visit. I'm gonna keep updating with more information about how this works and other patient findings just know that chronic fatigue and congested lymph are part of, uh, they, they go hand in hand. Uh, and also know that we've got to find in your chronic condition what your primary, primary degenerative organ and stressed organs uh, are and what is causing them. What are the agents? What are the infections and toxins and environmental stressors that are causing these organs and these tissues not to function well? You can always subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's very easy. Just go over to the button and click subscribe. I'm putting up videos every week. And also, I share a great wealth of information on my Facebook page. You'll see that name at the bottom of the screen here, Westside Advanced Care Center. Just like that Facebook page. Share this video with your friends. I look forward to helping you and your family and your friends. Thank you very much.